person to climb the seven summits. Now, raise your hand if you do know what the seven summits are. Anybody? <laughs> well, for the, for the seven summits are actually the highest mountain on every continent, and and those are the mountains that I'm going to climb. And first, there's Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa. It is uh, 19,040 feet. Then there's Mount Kosciuszko, the highest mountain in Australia, and it's only 7,310 feet. And then there's Mount Elbrus in Russia, the highest mountain in Europe, and it's 18,510 feet. And then we have Mount Aconcagua, the tallest mountain in South America, and that is 22,841 feet. And then there is Mount McKinley, also known as Denali, in Alaska, the highest mountain in North America, and that is 20,320 feet. And then we got Karsten's Pyramid in Papua, the highest mountain in Oceania, that's 16,024 feet. And then we have Mount Vincent Massif in Antarctica, and that is 16,050 feet. And then last we got the tallest mountain in the world and Asia in Tibet and Nepal, and that is Mount Everest at 29,035 feet.
because you're big, you know you're walking on snow and you're facing the snow. The, and up at that high altitude, the the sun is just so intense, and it and it reflects on snow and into your face. So pretty nasty sunburn. And then that led to the highest mountain I've ever climbed so far until Mount Everest is Mount Aconcagua in Argentina. And that one was probably the worst weather I've ever been because at the summit push, like the last day, we hiked for eight hours and the first two or three hours we were hiking in all right, think about it. In Big Bear, last winter, how it was so cold, the pipes were just freezing. You, you could probably not get any water. Nothing like this. It was negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit at almost, I would guess, about 80 mile an hour winds. I was, that was the worst weather I've probably ever been in. And then there is now, Denali, or Mount McKinley, the tallest mountain in North America and the U.S. Now, some of you are thinking, you know, Mount Whitney is the tallest mountain in the U.S., but that's like in the lower parts of the states. Uh, Mount McKinley, tallest mountain in all of North America and the U.S., up in Alaska. And every day it was, you know, just all sunlight. Never, the sun never set. So it's pretty hard to sleep. And that one is probably the hardest mountain I've ever climbed so far. <laughs> then, we go to the, then we go to the most recent mountain, Mount Carson's Pyramid in Indonesia. Probably the funnest and shortest climb I've done because I, my rock climbing is something I don't really get to do often. And for this, I was rock climbing for about nine hours. So, so it was pretty fun. In a, in a place called Indonesia, it's in the islands above Australia. I love that place. You know, people are friendly, good food. Anyway, that mountain was actually, I just did it in eighth grade. So, my most recent one. I only have two more mountain climbs, but before that, we'll go and climbing the mountains I have already done, it, it all hasn't been easy. First, there was Mount Aconcagua, the mountain in South America, was probably the hardest one by far to get to, because there was an age limit of 14, and I was only 11 at the time. But, it, but Karen and my dad, I mean, we spent almost two weeks in, down in Mendoza, Argentina, just getting through all the court stuff and everything. Finally, at the last minute, we got special permission, and we were able to climb it then. Then, after that was Mount uh, Denali in North America. That was the hardest mountain physically, technically, and a bit mentally, and on the physical side, it was a combination of everything possible in mountain climbing, such as ropes and ascending, and it, it's just all very complicated, and you're on very steep slopes, and on these three foot wide ridges with one drop down, like 5,000 feet, it was pretty, pretty scary. And then we have the upcoming Mount Vincent in Antarctica. So far, we have d done some work, but it, it's just we, we've been working our butts off to tr to try to just get to there because there's an age limit of 16 to get on the flight to fly to Antarctica, not to climb the mountain, but just to fly there. And I'm only 13, so we're working on getting special permission, and I'm really looking forward to that. And that leads us to my ne my next two mountains. And I only climbed six mountains at the age of, well, in a period of time of only 
three years, and to think about only two summits left to climb, it, to me, feels like I only started yesterday. It, it, then we have Mount Vincent this winter to climb in Antarctica, which will be, yeah, the next January 2nd we are leaving. It will be summer down there when it's winter up here, but still, it can be the worst. Uh, it, it can be just horrible weather out of nowhere. Any mountain is unpredictable. You never know what's going to throw at you next. Then we have my final mountain, the tallest mountain in the world, Mount Everest climb next year in 2012, in April, May, and June 2010. That one will be by far the hardest mountain to I, I will have ever climbed, uh, obviously. And I'm really looking forward to it. And if I summit Mount Everest, I will set two records. Number one, to be the youngest person to climb Mount Everest. Jordan, we're going to do spare change for Jordan, leave the pennies maybe at home, 
And so we've made up all these bottles. Ms. Taco is our first donator, and they all say spare change for Jordan, although she put dollar money in there, that's even better. And Mrs. McCoy and her husband Russ donated um, a bunch of bottles. You'll see they're up here in front. So far we don't have one for every classroom, but we're going to try to get one for every classroom. I have two more drying out in the office right now. And what you need to do, what she did, is she emptied out a blue bottle or can she had at home, put it in a baggie, and brought it in, and put it in our office jar. So start looking around, ask your parents, money's okay, dollar money's okay too, fives, tens, fifties, hundreds, one thousand dollar bills, whatever. But let's raise a whole bunch of money for Jordan to send him to Everest. 